I think just how disappointed they were with um, not handling things that we can control. I think that's probably the biggest disappointment. And, you know, we watched a lot of film and talked about it and came out and worked on it. And um, I expect to see a much different looking uh, team in terms of just sustainable effort throughout a, a tough Big 12 game. What's the biggest piece of advice you now have? You talk a lot about that first Big 12 game. What about that first Big 12 game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, I mean, everything is stepped up even in yet another notch. You're going to someone's house, you're playing, you know, they're coming off a huge win at Texas, first in their program's entire history. Um, so they're they're obviously on a major high. And they're playing well right now, but everybody's going to play well in the Big 12. It's just, again, stepping up yet another notch um, when you go on the road in this league. For Lexi, playing a game that means so much to her because her older parents played there. Do mm -hmm. you ever... When you have a player who has a game like that, do you ever feel the need to talk to him and kind of see, get in their head, or do you just kind of let her deal with that? Yeah, we kind of leave that alone. I mean, your parents played there quite a, quite a while ago. I think for Sid and Lexi, the big thing for them is it's kind of a homecoming game from because they're from that area, and just uh, we'll have a large number of fans there uh, supporting them. And in fact, uh, we might have a little bit bigger section than even TCU, which is nice. What you guys watching the film? What did you see from your team? I guess kind of changed to where I was taking kind of turned it their way. Yeah, incredible second quarter for us, a fight effort. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is the ability to sustain that level of energy and effort. Uh, we're still learning and growing in that area. Um, and that was the first game where we were really tested to where that had to be on full display uh, against the same caliber of height, physicality, all those things. Uh, and I think that that is definitely another one of the big takeaways from the game. Probably ultimately the biggest takeaway is just you have to sustain that the entire time. From, just from tape, what do you see out of the TCU? Yeah, a team that loves to transition and they're going to mix up their defense quite a bit. They're primarily a zone team. They stretch it out, uh, extend it, and they'll press. So their, their main goal is to, to be able to mix things up on you and keep you stagnant offensively. Um, maybe you addressed it at a different time. Why didn't we see Boogie out there? Yeah, she had a little bit of a hip flexor strain, so she's day-to-day -day for us right now.